Philip, thank you so much for joining us. Being all upset, did you enjoy it? I loved it. Uh, it was actually really nice uh, to play a few things, experiment. Um, it was nice to see a crowd coming in. The vibe was nice. Um, yeah, it was good. Are really you just having dancers on your set? Uh, yeah, they, they, they come in towards the end, I think. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was all good. I haven't done a warm up for a little while, actually. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice to play some brand new tunes. Uh, I even played a tune of my son, actually. Like, I played like he's 16 years old. Oh, wow. uh, towards the end of the set, I played Light Science, tested it. And I guess that's what the warm up's about. Not just about that, but I suppose it's making people dance, right? And get yeah. people in the mood for dancing, but like for the night. Yeah, it's good. good. Nice, yeah. nice. Dance was good up nicely. So, who would you say that some of your artistic influences are? Um, Alright, so I'll go back uh, early 90s, um, off the top of my head. Uh, Photek, like from a production uh, point of view, Photek every day. Um, Metalheads, good looking, Bookham, um, I'm a little bit with a, with a rough and a smooth, you know, so I, uh, I, love, I love the Bookham uh, vibe from back in the day, but then I love Randall as well, you know, and I love the, the Metalhead sound, so um, I try and sit in between somewhere, I don't know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. it's like a blend of different sounds. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, it's just, uh, I suppose drum and bass is a melting pot for so many different styles, and um, yeah, I think there's uh, there's room for everything without a doubt. But I like melodies, but I love a rough little bass line and breakbeat as well. So um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I'm still influenced by artists that are coming through today, um, which I, I'm, you know, there's loads of wicked like, artists coming through, and um, that's what keeps you going, I guess. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so. Actually, that's a good question. So, what? So, you said sort of like loads of new artists um, coming through. That's what keeps you going. What else keeps you motivated? Um, well, outside of music, family, without a doubt. Yeah. You know, my, in, like, like I said, my son. You know, getting into music, like you know, without a doubt, I'm real pr I'm, I'm slightly biased, but like, a proud dad. You know, seeing him getting into uh, into the same sort of music that we grew up on. And then, you know, I said to him tonight, if I come out one more year, mate, you come out with us, you know? And like, but it, you know, that definitely drives me. I teach a little bit as well. I teach like guys, seeing people um, start from like basic uh, production to finishing tunes. Without a doubt, it's nice to see that and then see them play or maybe that I play their tunes. So I don't know, there's so many things that like, you know, but yeah. Um, Having good friends around you, without a doubt, helps. Having a good unit around you. I've got a, a good bunch of mates um, that I'm working with um, from, like, you know, the release of music on their labels. And, like, it's nice to bounce off those people. That definitely inspires me, you know, because it keeps you going, right? You know, it makes you finish things. COVID, obviously, I don't want to go straight into COVID, but COVID um, had a... Uh, it, Forced everyone for a sec, you know, yeah. and like you know, so things weren't getting finished. We weren't playing music out, and coming out and doing things tonight and playing music. That some of the things I played tonight were sort of projects I've done over the last six months, year, and like you know, we're only just getting out there again, really. Yeah. You know, yeah. So yeah, it's a long it's, answer. But no, yeah. no, it's quite a good answer. Yeah. You're not the only one who's mentioned COVID today. Yeah, yeah. Even though it was like what three years ago, it still feels yeah, quite yeah. recent in yeah, terms yeah. of like. The impact that it has on the, on the industry. Definitely. It sounds like you've had quite an influence on bringing people into the scene. How would you describe your first experience of the jungle or jungle based scene? Uh, what, coming into that scene? Mm. I mean, I come in, uh, so, okay, so I was into it from like a, a kid, um, early 90s, really early 90s, when it was like hardcore days, so like 92, 91, 92. And um, so I sort of saw that music then progress into jungle drum bass. So like, um, my first influences or first things to go out and see were um, like the Sanctuary Mill Keys. And like that was where they had an over 14s thing. So we could go down there and go and see Brooklyn Randall and all these DJs we heard on the tapes. And we were really lucky because there's not a lot to do for 14 year olds these days, without a doubt. Um, so we'd go down there, 3,000 capacity, and you know, obviously a couple of years later, start to go to the all-nighters. So 
I don't know, like, um, going down to those without a doubt was a major influence on me, yeah. you know, so yeah. Wow. It's, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no, no, I love it. I love it, I love yeah. it about the nostalgic days yeah. as well, like, but, you know. And it, I mean, I just, I, just, I, I, I just saw Randall, and, like, you know, and it's like, it's really nice, obviously, years later, um, working with Randall and working with Bookham and uh, and it doing full circle, you know, so, um, yeah, it's, sorry, yeah, next no, question. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what advice would you give to anyone who's looking to come into the scene right now? Um, that it won't happen overnight, okay, so, like, you know, you've got to work hard, you know, you enjoy it, I think, first and foremost, enjoy it, you know, um, Maybe some people go in it for the wrong reasons, uh, but you know, go go into it because you love the music and uh, and do your history, you know, and like you know, go back and find out what drum bass is about. You know, jungle drum bass is 30 years old, right? So it's um, yeah, do your history, enjoy it, and, uh, and and do it for fun for now, you know, like and. Uh, and you know, collaborate with people, and like then you can bounce off those people. That's what we just said earlier. So like, you know, I love the fact that I've got loads of people that are around me, and you know, uh, I think I bounce off those people well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. So, are you ready for your round of this or that? But you have to answer which you prefer, this okay. or that. Right. It's very unserious. So okay, don't overthink it. Right. <laughs> First question is, would you prefer a city break or beach holiday? Uh, city break. Okay, do you prefer cooking or cleaning? <laughs> Probably cleaning, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> iPhone or Android? iPhone. Okay. Um, listening to music through speakers or headphones? Speakers. Do you prefer the original or the remix? Oh, that's a good question. Because um, I've done a lot of remixes recently. Oh, I don't, oh that's a hard one. Uh, I'm going to say original. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, festival or rave? Uh, rave. Okay. These are the most unserious questions now. Does a straw have one or two holes? Two. Okay. And... Would you rather have hair made out of teeth or teeth made out of hair? Hair made out of teeth or teeth made out of hair? Teeth made out of hair. Nice. Okay. I know. How's my brain work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>